day and welcome to another week of phonics fun. So for today, you won't need your writing book or anything, but I just wanted to let you know that after today, I'm going to take out some of the sounds that we've been practicing every day, just because we learned them a long time ago now and fingers crossed, we're confident with them. So we're going to do all of the ones we've learned today and then I'm going to take some of them out tomorrow so that we can focus on those trickier ones that we've learned a bit more recently. So if you feel you still want to practice all of them, then feel free to go through today's sounds every day. Right, my lovelies, let's go through all of our sounds today. Ready? Yeah. my lovelies it is that time again where we're going to learn another new sound and you might look at this one and be a bit confused and say Miss Whitborn didn't we learn this one last week well we did we learned the sound but do you know what these two letters when they're joined together they make two different sounds so we've got to learn both of them so it does make a in some words but in some words, it makes this sound. You ready? You're going to do it with me. So it sounds a bit like a but again, you've got to stick your tongue out. Okay. Can you do it? And for our action today, we are going to think about a feather, which has the sound in the middle. And feathers feel really soft, so I want you to pretend your hand is a feather and rub it against your cheek. Just see how soft it feels. So we're going to go. Can you do it with me? Fantastic. Now, you might be wondering, well, how do I know which type of or that I've got to do? And the answer is we've just got to try them both out and see which one works with that word. So for example, if we look at this word here, if we did it's this and use the type we learned last week, is this a word? It's not, is it? But if we put the sound in, then it does make a word. So that's all we've got to do is we've got to try out both and see which one is working for us. So I'm going to read these, but if you think you can have a go at all of the words yourself, then please do mute me and have a go. That would be fantastic. Right, we ready? It's this. Super, let's try the next one. So remember we're all of these words have v in. V at that. Well done. Right, two down, three to go. Next one. V e m 
them. Brilliant. Two more down. Two more left, even. V, e, n. Then. Super. Last one. Oh, it's at the end this time, isn't it? Do you notice that in all the other words, the little sound came at the beginning, but this time it's at the end. W, i, v. With. Super job, everyone. So there we go. That's our new sound of the day. Mm. For the last part of our session today, you've got it. We've got a brand new book for you. And this week we are learning all about the three Billy Goats Gruff. So sit back and relax and I'm going to read it to you today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again for another phonics lesson tomorrow. Bye. The Three Billy Goats Gruff Yeah, ah, mmm, yum So you see that squiggle next to the t? That's called an apostrophe and what that means is there's a letter missing but what we do, we read all four of those letters as one word so it goes ooh, et, s Let's go across, across, let's go across. T-r-ol, troll, t-r-ip, trip, t-r-ap, trap. Oh, and again, trip, trap. So the whole thing reads trip, trap, trip, trap. Stop, stop. Ch o mp, chomp, him, him, not, not me. Chomp him, not me. Do you know what chomp means? It means eat. I w i l will. I will. T r ip, trip. T r ap trap t r ip trip t r ap trap trip trap trip trap st op stop ch o mp chomp h i m him n ot not me chomp him not me i w i l will I will. T r ip trip t r ap trap and again trip trap so the whole thing reads trip trap trip trap. St op stop. Smack smack. The t r o l troll f e l fell. The troll fell. The end. The end.